the time limit given by the speaker to the privileges committee to make a determination on the fate of the three mps has been exceeded but the committee is now putting the finishing touches to its work the meeting to make a firm decision on the matter was held on wednesday mp fakwitia who sat through proceedings tells us what transpired the question was put before the committee members whether or not we are considering our colleagues the three uh, MPs that were referred to us by Speaker of Parliament, Honorable the Right Honorable Babwin. Now, <clears throat> when the question was put, it was taken one after the other alphabetically from the attendance book. The Japan issue was 15 against 12 present members in the meeting. Henry Cote, same by that number. As a Safu issue was put before us, there wasn't any question to answer because uh, the chair of the committee said to us, the committee members, that Adua did not turn up to the committee. He did not, she did not appear before the committee at all since we started sitting. So we did not vote on Adua Safu to take a decision. As the country grapples with an upcoming IMF program, MP for Pro East, Dr. Kwamna Donko, wants the state to urgently recover millions of cities from OMCs in tax revenues to salvage the economy. If we were to put these figures together, over 650 million cities is out there from taxes that you and I have paid on petroleum products that we have consumed and collected from oil marketing companies. I've been very particular about this over the years. And this arises out of my knowledge of the industry. We have allowed racketeers, we have allowed fraudsters, etc., to come into the industry, siphon taxes, and then go away. These are only the taxes owed to the state. What the Auditor General has now mentioned is that BDCs, the industry as a whole, is also owed by a number of these people. They leave the products they don't pay. On Tuesday, the Minister for Roads and Transport answered questions on the construction of the Indy to Tripony Road. MP for Tripony Abdul Razak Tahidu commented on the answers provided by the Minister in an interview with City News. Tripony constituency or district economically is a hub for soya beans, uh, sesame, Syria, and then local rice. Regards to other food stuff, the people do farm little. But if you see these three products, the farm on commercial base, Cheruponi supply soya beans season round. And I can attest to it that a company known as Edible uh, Edible Oil Factory, which is located at Kumasi, do come around to purchase soya beans. And so many other people come around the, the district. And also, this road will help even students to access their schools faster than before and as early as possible. And then the, the robbery issue too, when this road is quickly attended to, I think the good people of Cherupuni will have an ease in terms of this uh, rampant robbery. The adult committee set up by the house to look into the incident of a pregnant woman who died due to the alleged negligence of the ambulance service started hearings on Wednesday. You said you were giving birth in the hospital. Mm. That's the same hospital. Okay. And um, your one of your children was also giving birth in the hospital? Yes. Was that also mm. due to cesarean section? Yes. Recepti, everything. With the doctor, the doctor, the doc uh, yeah, we became friends through that uh, issue. So, see, uh, he did the surgery on that day, and that same day we were discharged. Uh, so, he told me that, oh, uh, teacher, I will fear Banaba for Banukona, 
or Fred Benedi. So, just a normal one, simple, very simple. This is what I put it. The House dedicated a healthy amount of time to taking statements today, one on anti corruption. Uh, from the African Parliamentary Network Against Corruption, spearheaded by the Honorable Bejra, as well as another statement on the Green Ghana campaign um, that was delivered by the Honorable uh, Samuel Jinapo. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Mentor.